Alrighty, so uh, three weeks, almost a month into using the analog pocket, not right this version. I have been using a black one, it's sold now, but uh, yeah, I mean, they're basically the same. Uh, yeah, analog pocket, three weeks. This is, I think this is like a, a little different perspective. This is like from a, a seller's perspective, since I, I'm, I'm a reseller of Nintendo consoles, but also a collector's perspective since i have so many consoles and i have played on them all yeah basically and i have had fun um so yeah i mean the analog pocket uh, so first things first um i'm gonna start with that you can mod this device uh modded it's pretty garbage to be entirely honest with you if you i mean it feels like a emulator you can't choose the display modes and you can't even save like that is garbage like if you go into like i was playing handheld game boy advance i was playing uh, super mario advance 2 for about like 30 minutes and i saved multiple times i went out and when i went in to, uh, went in again uh, the saves were gone so i guess you have to save them manually with the analog pocket save mode like state saved but i mean yeah you, as you probably can tell it's pretty garbage that you can't save inside of the actual game um yeah but it isn't how it is and you can't change the display mode which is also bad but yeah, I mean, it is how it is. Um, another thing, I have been using these flashcards. If you're using one of these, I mean, it's pretty fun. Uh, but from a collector's perspective, my honest like review from a collector's perspective, I, I would not recommend it if you have a lot of consoles because it just feels it feels different and not in a good way it's better to play on either original hardware or yeah i mean original hardware like this feels like an ips modded game boy you know everything it it's it's fine i mean if you play if you played on a game boy advance sp for like however long it's been like 20 years almost then uh, yeah i mean it's different of course you'll feel it but if you i mean it's like a sp just with a better screen and yeah i mean do i recommend it for a collector if you have a lot of money uh i mean i i think it depends on what you have if you have a game boy color with the ips screen don't buy this thing uh or if you have a Game Boy Advance SP with the IPS screen too, don't buy this thing. It's a waste of money. Like, maybe if you're playing one of those other... What are they called? Like, I got them. The Neo Geo and all of those. I mean, the games, like, aren't even that fun. Oh, yeah, wrong. To be honest, I've, like, tried some of the games and I'm not a big fan the sega genesis and game gear i mean there's just these are like basically the three games i actually wanted to try then i tried mega man and i regret even trying for like two hours to get the simulator thingy on here i mean it's just not smart original hardware will be better Remember, I mean, it's not emulated. That's not what I'm saying. It's not a emulator device because it's not. It is like, uh, th there is no delay. It's like playing on, I mean, it doesn't have the same feel, if you know what I mean. It, it's not, it's not a Game Gear. It's not a Sega Genesis. It's not a Game Boy Advance. It's not a Game Boy Color. It's not a Game Boy. It's not, it's not nothing. It's just, it's, it's different and I mean, I wouldn't buy this if I was a collector. A collector. Um, um, I mean, I bought, I bought it to be to make a video, but other than that, it's it's not that fun to be honest. I, I mean, I did play a little, but uh, you, I mean, 
I guess it also depends on how much you play as a collector. If you just collect and don't play, yeah, I mean, maybe. And if you want everything in one, because this is an all-in-one. This is like, if you want everything on one place, this is the thing. Get one of these and get one of these. Boom, you're set for life. Um, because, I mean, yeah, you can play everything on it. And it's like a IPS modded Game Boy Color, since the screen is so good. And yeah, it's a IPS Game Boy Color, basically. Mixed with a Game Boy Advance SP that has been modded uh, with IPS screen. Yeah. Um, other thoughts. Uh, you get scratches really, really easily back there. Uh, now, this one doesn't have any scratches. Or it probably does, but you can't see them because of the color. I mean, I can't see any. Uh, but on the black one, I got scratches one uh, like once after taking out the game and putting it in and... Like I did that one time and there was already like a scratch and then it got a smaller one or something like that. I can't really remember. But uh, yeah, I mean, it gets scratches real fast because it's it's plastic, you know. Uh, the glow in the dark on this is, I mean, I wouldn't do it because of the glow in the dark feature to like buy this one. Uh, maybe if you love the color, that that's cool. But the glow in the dark, it's... Honestly, it's garbage. Uh, you, I mean, it doesn't activate. To be honest, if you, maybe if you like live in a really, really well lit area, then, then yeah, it it will bright up more. But I mean, it's. Ugh. I mean, I think it like depends on who you are too. But there is one perspective, or another perspective. If you are buying this uh, and you just like want to play the good old games and all of that and actually have some money to use for on like games like these, I, I would recommend to get a Ease Flash and a, a Multicart because they are just awesome. Uh, they are like real games, just that they're pirated i mean oh piracy yo ooh, nintendo oof you know but um yeah i mean if you want to play your games and you haven't played them like your childhood games and you haven't played them in many years yeah i mean go ahead and pick it up but it won't be as nostalgic as actually having the original hardware uh yeah i mean i think that's like what most people buy them for to like experience nostalgia be nostalgic like have fun with these devices right and it's just not there with the analog pocket it's just not there uh i mean for some people it might be but uh honestly just not there that's that's all i'm gonna say uh yeah i mean what else can i say there's two extra buttons you can only use it for like one of the other consoles or something like that. You can't use it for Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance. I think you can like uh, choose if you want to use them. Like you can use these as A and B if you choose that in the settings or something like that. But it feels weird. Um, yeah, I mean that button is there on this color, glow in the dark. Uh, it's hard to tell which one of these is which one. Sound, uh, sound is, I mean, if you're like a sound freak, then you might hear a difference, but honestly, there is no freaking difference. And I love music, but I can't, I, ca I can't hear any difference between this and the original hardware. I mean, there, there is like, there's no, like, um, what is it called? Like, there's background, uh, noise when you, like boot up a Game Boy, there's like a little noise, like beep, you know, like really, it's not loud, but it's like really, uh, what's it called? Yeah, I mean, it's not loud. The opposite of loud. It's quiet. Yeah, quiet uh, sound. Uh, on this one, I don't think there is. I'm guessing not, probably not. But you, you, I mean, you, you forget about it. Uh, yeah, I mean, the sound is loud. The screen is, I mean, the screen is awesome. But, uh, as I said, like, for, um, uh, I mean, I didn't even grow up with the original Game Boy, but when I held the original Game Boy and started playing games, 
it was a, I, it's hard to explain. I got like a retro feel without even growing up with those consoles. You don't get that here. That's not what you get here. Here you get to experience the your childhood games or whatever, like games you just want to play at the like, should I say the best? Yeah, I mean, it It has USB-C, it has a link. It's like, it's like a Game Boy, just a lot better in some ways, but minus 10 out of 10 in nostalgia. You don't have the nostalgia here. Yeah. What else can I say about this thing? I mean, yeah, I guess that's it, right? I think so. What else can I say about it? I need to have a script. Like I just, when I make videos, I don't think what I'm saying. I just, I just say what I feel. And hopefully I, I think that's what you guys want from me. You want like my honest opinion. You want you want me to tell you what this thing is, you know, if you should buy one. And honestly, in most cases, I would not. It's also too overpriced. And right now, it's out, these are out of stock. Like this version, you can't even buy it anymore. eBay, $500. You have $500 to spend. Buy a Game Boy Color with the IPS screen and a Game Boy Advance SP with the IPS screen. And that will run you $400. Much better than this thing. I'm sorry, uh, the, I mean, I will probably get hated for this and I, I can already smell the comment section, but I mean, that's just my honest opinion. Uh, there are, of course, there are different situations. I mean, as I said, if, you, if you're a fan of those Neo, Neo Geo games and all of that, console games, and this is a really cool device, but I'm guessing most of you are here for the Game Boy, Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance games. If you're not, then I'm sorry, this is not the guide for you. I have no clue uh, about anything about those games. I don't even have the add-ons. I don't, I've never played them on original hardware. I don't know what they're like on this thing. As I said, there's not many games here. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I don't even know how to like, uh, launch save states is that even possible how do i launch a save memories yeah okay Lo i can't even, i can't even load it wait what wait so if i go into open fpga handheld game boy advance run and if i go into let me imagine if i can't even like load the game that would be funny as hell. Oh. Loading failed. Um, maybe because of the intro. Wait. Save states. Load. Loading failed. No way. There is no way. So I don't think you can even load the modded games. I might be doing something wrong, but uh, yeah, I mean, so don't, don't mod your... Analog pocket, I guess. Wait, so if I, let me save this. State saved, right? I go to the other side here. Oh, okay, so it loaded. But why can't I load the previous save state? Huh. Okay, maybe because it's an intro or something like that. Okay, it's interesting. Uh, but I actually have loaded more games than just this one. So I have no clue what happened to my other save states. Um, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, that's it. Take what you want from this video. Uh, yeah. It depends on who you are. But mostly, I do not recommend it. Thank you guys for watching. Like, dislike, subscribe. Tell me in the comments below what you think. If you have any thoughts. Do you think I'm stupid for even making this video? Do you think uh, I'm wrong? Do you think... Do you have anything else to add? Do you have any recommendations? Just 
comment down below and I'll I'll uh, reply. I'll I'll share my honest opinion if you're right, because as I said, it depends on your perspective, and there are probably more uh, like perspectives out there, even like. Yeah, I mean, there are so many perspectives. If, if you don't even have like money to buy a Game Boy, but you want a Game Boy, this is definitely not the thing to buy. The best Game Boy you can buy is a Game Boy Advance SP if you want to play all the games and a good screen. Uh, AGS001, that's going to be the cheapest one. Uh, this is just going to be a waste of money. I mean, it's much better, but four times the price? No five times four times well it depends on ebay it's five times yeah so i mean it depends that's it thank us for watching and bye bye